Hey there, I'm Jamie Davidson with AMZ Insiders, and we're live here from our AMZ Insiders headquarters here uh, in the Atlanta, Georgia area. So uh, today I'm really excited to share with you the most common question we get and the solution to the most common question we get, which is how do you pick a product? Whether someone's brand new or looking at Amazon, um, or if they've been selling a while for Amazon, often people want to know, you know, how do we do what we do? And and again, some people may say, hey, I'm really excited to sell, you know, the idea of selling on Amazon, but I don't have a product in what I do, and people get really caught up in that. So I thought I would walk you through our exact process there. Um, and I'll share a couple things before we jump quite into the into that exact process to pick a product. And the first thing is about the e-commerce industry and some Amazon facts, which I always get excited to, to talk about and take a look at. Uh, first thing is just where we're at in terms of e-commerce and Amazon. So e-commerce, as big as it is right now, it's still only 12% of all commerce, which is absolutely amazing in, in, uh, in the concept of this. So it's still relatively uh, small. It's projected to grow to 15% next year and to double and be 30% of all commerce in the next over the next five years. So you're very much in the early stages of Amazon and e-commerce. The, the Amazon fact I love here is Amazon is already bigger than the next 10 biggest e-commerce platforms combined, yet it's still still growing and still in its infancy. So again, it's uh, absolutely amazing information, which I, uh, I love to look at and just uh, say out loud to myself because it's so, so amazing. The second thing with that is the fastest growing sector of e-commerce is mobile, right? So is shopping, people using their phones more and more, people use computers less and less. Um, and so as fast as e-commerce is growing, mobile is the, the fastest growing sec sector of, excuse me, sector of that category. And so mobile right now is growing at uh, leaps and bounds. It was at uh, $200 billion in 2014, and it's going to be at uh, $600 billion. It's projected to be by 2018. So just, you know, a year and a half from now. So Again, it's, uh, it's absolutely incredible. This is the reason why uh, we live, eat, breathe, sleep Amazon because Amazon is so well positioned in the mobile space in, for e-commerce. So you know, if you use your phone, if you've, most of you guys have probably already done this, you try to buy something on Amazon, it is so easy as by far the best platform to, to buy something. Uh, you, with a few clicks, you, you purchase your item and within you know, 48 hours, if you do it on Amazon Prime, it'll be sitting on your door uh, with free shipping. So it's incredible. So, but, uh, so again, that's why we're so excited about it. Uh, and then a little bit about us as we talk about you know, how we pick a product is, uh, this is myself again here, I'm Jamie, as I mentioned. This is my co-founder, uh, Jason, and our other co-founder, Brad. This is Jason and Brad with Kathy Ireland on uh, Worldwide uh, business recently and uh, talking about our Amazon business and, and some of the success stories about that. Um, we've got a uh, pretty large headquarters here with a warehouse and a pretty active team here and as well in some other countries as well. But, uh, but again, so that even being the case here, at some point we were starting and uh, made mistakes when it came to uh, how to find a product. And so we want to show you the process we use now and help you avoid the mistakes that we made in some cases early on and uh, many people or probably most people make as they attempt to uh, enter into e-commerce and specifically Amazon. So, so how do you find a product? Well, you can travel, you can go to China uh, is one possibility and here's me a few months ago and I have been to China, I've been uh, I guess twice recently and I do go over there and look at products and this is, uh, there's huge, huge, um, manufacturer basically markets over there where you can meet manufacturers or uh, sourcing agents to look at all sorts of products. So so that is one way you can go about it, but it is not necessary to go to China. Um, but it is, it is a cool aspect of the business and something that um, as you build and you want to, you can do that as you learn more and you establish relationships. Um, but it is not necessary at all, So, uh, but we do have that experience directly over in China. Um, and it's an amazing place to visit. This is in uh, Shanghai. I took a little video here. There's me down in uh, Westlake. Just beautiful, beautiful uh, country and an amazing opportunity. If you get a chance to uh, to go, I would highly recommend it. Um, 
And but uh, but again, you do not need to go to China. Uh, the way to the way to begin your product selection is to first to start thinking. There's a bunch of different ways you can uh, you can begin collecting ideas. One is just look around your own house, right? You look around, you see something like, oh, that's interesting, and then you can begin to look look that product up. You could be looking at in the kitchen. You could be looking at uh, all sorts of kitchen supplies that are real popular. You can be um, over some people you drink wine. There's all sorts of wine accessories you may see and look into that category and on and on and on. When you're out shopping, you can have a more critical eye and look at, you know, look at things and think, oh, is that something you think people would buy on Amazon? Usually the answer is yes. Most things now are. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you can get all sorts of great ideas when you're out and about. Uh, you can check with, listen to your kids, friends, family, just about new items that are out, you know, what they're using and what, they're, and again, you can go, again, take and research that on Amazon as well. Amazon is really amazing. You can, on Amazon, you can literally just start typing randomly into their search. With every letter you type, Amazon will start presenting things that they think people are searching for. So it's a way for you to get a sense of what uh, items someone is uh, is actually looking into. And uh, you can begin research, uh, researching that way. Another amazing thing Amazon does is it's very trans uh, transparent on its platform. So it shows you uh, the best-selling items, and Amazon actually updates its BSR called this Best Seller Rank every single hour uh, of the day. And you can go onto Amazon and within a category, seeing the number one selling item all the way down. Uh, so you, you can see the exact rank of every item on there. So you can see all sorts of items that are, are selling best on Amazon um, as well. And then you can just be creative too. So you know every person has a different passion and ideas and things that you might think are interesting. So you know just really use your your mind again to uh, to generate initial ideas and you know to keep in mind this is the brainstorming uh, part of things at this point here. So uh, the key here is do not make any buying decisions based on any of this. Okay. So and I've made this mistake myself. Sometimes you get really excited by Amazon and the opportunity, and you see how much pe money you know people are making out there, and or you may know someone else you know directly that's really doing well. So you do a little bit of brainstorming, and all of a sudden you, you go and look to buy a product. That is a mistake. Mistake. Many people make that mistake, um, and I've made that mistake myself. Uh, do not do that. Uh, but again, it's a great place to start. So. What we do is we, it's great to have ideas, you know, in terms of where you want to go, but you got to have a process to actually go about it. So we use a tool called amzproductspotter.com combined with alibaba.com. And so Alibaba, again, uh, some of you guys may be familiar with it and may have used it. But Alibaba is the world's largest B2B marketplace and it connects you with uh with any kind of manufacturer or sourcing agent from around the world. Uh, most often is in China because China dominates the manufacturing world in most categories, uh, not all, but most. And um, so we'll use that as well. And then we're also gonna use the Amazon FBA calculator. So I'm gonna walk through live uh, a couple examples with you here and show you the exact process, how we do this so you can uh, Learn. So again, if you're taking notes, these are things you'd want to go. So amzproductspotter.com. Uh, you could use uh, alibaba.com. You want to know, and then also the Amazon FBA calculator. All right. So let me switch over to get over to our my browser here, and if I go to amzproductspotter.com. which is also known as the Jungle Scout tool here. So this tool is really amazing. It's a total game changer in terms of the what it can do for you. There's two products with this. Again, this is not our product. Uh, we use this, but we use this extensively. And so there's all sorts of things you can do. Uh, what I'm gonna show you right here is this Niche Hunter. We're also gonna use the Chrome extension. So the, the Niche Hunter, you can look at all of the categories here uh, you can pick all your different marketplaces. We do sell in multiple countries, but we're going to look at um, Amazon.com, the USA. And there's all these categories. You can pick one 
category here. And what you can do is basically, this is basically querying or searching for all products on Amazon that meet certain criteria. And what you can do is these criteria help take so much of the work out of it because it's gonna find you quality categories or quality opportunities uh, that you can then research further. So, um, so you know, I picked one random here. So at pet supplies here, I set for pet supplies. You have these different things, how much you sold per month. So I want to do more than 250 a month. Your average price right now, I, I'd like to take this up to $15, between 15 and 50 because that's a price where there's a lot of impulse buys on Amazon. There's things like these opportunity scores. There's how competitive the product is, what the quality of the listing is. So if the, the quality of the existing listing is poor, that creates an opportunity for you to, to execute a, a better quality listing and out, um, outperform your competition. So you can do this right here. And again, I'm just gonna do this live. We'll see what we get. All these green, the green monkeys are good. Uh, they show red monkeys are bad. So this is an opportunity score. So anything, a high score is you know a good opportunity. Um, and so these are, and this is in the pet category. Again, not something that uh, focus a lot on currently but here I hit a pup stare so this is like a category that I never would have thought it even existed before but sure enough you come over here and there are stairs you can get so if you click on one of these will take you to Amazon and show you a category for pup stairs or for dog stairs in this case so what we'll do is we'll get one item like this that we looks interesting to us and we'll want to analyze it right so we're not just gonna pull the trigger on anything we're gonna take a look and the individual listing doesn't matter. What we care about is the what we care about is the keywords here. So we see four step dog stairs. We're going to go in here. We're going to enter this in. And we're going to search it. And we're going to see all of the different ones for these four step. What comes up for four step dog stairs? And sure enough, here they are. Okay. And then what we're going to use? Move this out of the way here is our, this is where we're gonna use the Chrome extension, all right, this Chrome extension tool from the, uh, that we went through to amzproductspotter.com, Jungle Scout. So this tool is amazing. So this, we, we use this all of the time. Um, and what this tool does is it takes all of the items we were just looking at on page one and it calculates an estimate of how much sales it does in a month. All right, so, Right here, again, I was just picking this one here. So 81,000 in sales, 22,000, 17,000, 13,000. So $80,000 a month in sales. So that's close to a million dollars uh, a year. So um, so again, just picking this category. So that gives you a sense of how the power of this tool and how you go about seeing what you're doing. So I like you know these sales amounts. This is good, you know, 80,000, 20,000 and so forth. What I don't like, are a couple things is particular one thing, which is these items are all sold by Amazon. So these are for the most part. There's an FBA seller here. So the, on page one, that means the majority of these items are being sold through uh, Amazon's vendor program. And so you know, for our private label ideas, we're not going to. This does not look as uh, enticing to me. I do like the the other thing is it's quite um, competitive in terms of 5,000 reviews, 500 reviews, and so forth. So. But that is uh, one example of one. And next we will take a look at a, uh, another example. So I'm gonna close out of that. Um, one that I do like to look at, and again, you can pick so many things. I'm just picking one here. I said grill mats is one that I've looked at in the past here. Um, again, we don't currently sell this ourselves, but let's just, again, let's take a look through here. So here's grill mats. You know, a very common item, just like there's thousands of other ones. And we will jungle scout this. Now already I'm seeing FBA, FBA, FBA. So I'm really liking that a lot more, more from that perspective. So again, what I'm gonna do with this awesome tool here is I'm going to um, click on it twice. I'm gonna sort, I like to sort from best to worst. Again, this is just on page one. Here and so you see a number of sellers. The name brands are all over the place. This is not a product that you know one brand dominates it. But this guy's doing. Uh, this seller is do, Grillaholics is doing forty-four thousand a month, right? So just uh, 
what is that, 50,000. So, you know, over a half million uh, a year just in this one product. And they've got, uh, again, these are all FBA sellers. So this looks interesting. Now these guys are, so the first thing we're doing is how well does this product sell? Does it sell well? Number one, all right? And the answer is this product does sell well. So I like that. And I also like that it has lots of FBA sellers. So that's a good sign. Number two we look at is do we think this is a market that we could compete in? And for that, that is a little bit of a tougher question here. And this one, it's, and we, we look, what we're looking for in terms of can we compete is based on the number of reviews here. So, you know, specifically here, when I'm looking at this, I'm going, um, I'll slide myself back over here. Um, the number of reviews is a lot here. So it's, you know, 2,700 reviews, 3,300 reviews. So you're not going to compete with that. But look down here. So this guy's estimated at 21,000. This, this is uh, uh, Diver SciTech. It's at 21,000 with 12 reviews. This person's at $15,000 at 90 reviews at Yokomira. Uh, 14,000, they have a number of reviews. $12,000 a month with 150 reviews. 10,000 at 38 reviews and so forth. So, so you know, I would say this is somewhat competitive. You know, there's definitely some some people have been in it for a while, and I would say it's I would say it's fairly competitive. Um, but you know, there's definitely opportunities here if you know what you're doing, you know what your process is on how to launch a product and everything else. This is something that could be interesting. Now, if you're just beginning and and you may want to go with something a little bit less competitive than this, but um, this is definitely interesting. So um, now, that being the case, let's take a look at our third category, which is um, can we make money on this thing? So is it profitable? So we need to get a sense of you know what this costs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to open another tab and we will check out alibaba.com as I mentioned and on Alibaba we're going to type in grill mats a grill mat set of five that's fine all right so you see a lot of times you'll see the exact pictures you'll see on Amazon all right um, so here you go FDA certified all right so we see a range right here of 50 cents to $1.20. So that's gives you some perspective there. Again, you can scroll through and see all sorts of ones. Most of them are 50 cents to a dollar. So this is they're gonna typically provide you a range. There's more work to be done to research or to actually um, to follow up with these guys, but that gives you an initial sense. So let's say you say a dollar, a uh, dollar for those. Um, and we come back to we come back to our uh, our product here. Oops, some of this is my pet. So back to our grill mat. So we're gonna say it's a dollar, and we picked one here, like this guy here, that's doing really well. Um, so we think we can get these for let's say somewhere. Again, we don't have to be specific. You know, fifty cents to a dollar, and we're gonna take a look. And this is where we're gonna use our last tool, which is our our FBA calculator. All right, and so with this FBA calculator, it automatically, again, this tool is awesome. So you can either, this is a Chrome extension. So using Chrome, we've got the Chrome extension uh, to get all of the data for each listing. And then this is to calculate the profitability. So you can use the Chrome extension or you can just Google search uh, Amazon FBA calculator and you can look at it through there as well. But this tool populates all the data. It knows uh, exactly what it's selling for, what it weighs, everything else. So it has all the fees. And so all I need to do is put in what the product cost. So if I put in that the product cost, we're just going to use a dollar for these purposes. Um, and actually, I'll even put in a dollar fifty. Let's put in a dollar fifty. All right. So that gives you a sense. It's going to give you a, a total of what the Amazon fee is at seven dollars and eighteen cents, um, and gives you a sense of what's left over in terms of the total margin. So if I go uh, 
at two dollars and fifty cents even you still have ten dollars and and twenty seven cents here and so again I'm using a dollar fifty so again that gives you a great sense of your margin um, your margin and you can take this divided by your price to see what your margin percentage is here so in this case this is greater than fifty percent so this is eleven divided basically by about twenty which is around fifty five percent thereabouts you know typically we want to we're targeting margins uh, obviously the higher margins the better you want to have margins of at least 30%. So, you know, typically we're in the range of 30 to 50%. Um, you know, if we're in that range, we're feeling pretty good because, you know, you're going to have some additional expenses naturally in terms of your shipping costs, uh, in terms of your marketing, your product launch, and so forth. So, um, but all of your other expenses, your Amazon expenses, in terms of both your, uh, in this case, your pick and pack, pack fee and the referral fee Amazon uses as, uh, you know, to sell on Amazon. Um, both of those are included in this cost, so that's all net of that. So, so in this product, you know, just lo looking at this quick analysis, I'd say, wow, this is pretty attractive. Uh, you know, to me, this is there's really solid margins potential. Again, depending what exact cost you can get the product for, and the biggest thing in this product, and again, this is really just for example purposes, is to me it would be how competitive it is. So it may be a category that you say, hey, it's really profitable, but it is pretty pretty competitive. It's not the most competitive. There's definitely categories that are more competitive. So it may take a little bit longer to compete. And so you can follow this exact process to uh, to find categories that you think are the best fit and that are not um, met or slightly less competitive possibly. But if you go after this category and you do well, you can uh, certainly make a lot of money there. So I'm going to just jump back to to wrap up here. So again, we used amzproductspotter.com, and that helped us research, you know, all the potential things. Again, it's an amazing tool, both the um, both the web app and the Chrome extension. And then we also went to alibaba.com to connect with all of the manufacturers around the world to begin looking at pricing there. Um, and then as we get into the further steps, and we'll talk about this in future sessions. Uh, we would, you would then, um, you would then follow a process to contact uh, the manufacturers at uh, via Alibaba and get more information, more precise information in terms of possibilities. Uh, and then we use that Amazon FBA calculator. And again, that's going to help us with the fourth criteria we have, which is, or I'm sorry, the third criteria, which is, you know, can we make money on this product? Um, and so that's really important there. So, in summary. Number one, collect ideas, right? Brainstorm. Do not make a decision based on that brainstorm, though. Very, very important. You're going to research and put a lot of time into researching and analyzing your product once you have your ideas and once you're using these awesome tools that exist that, that really allow you to, to, to really dig into all of Amazon and give you all sorts of ideas and really create uh, amazing, find amazing, amazing opportunities. You know, we went through these here, the amzproductspotter.com, uh, alibaba.com, and then the Amazon FBA calculator. And that is the exact process that we, that we go through. So again, we want to we wanna get ideas. You can get those ideas from all over the place. You want to have an, a, a specific process to actually analyze. Um, you want to spend a lot of time analyzing and, and following this process. Um, and the last thing you want to do and keep in mind, just that we're big believers on, on Amazon, even though we're not um, covering this topic here, we'll cover this on a future live training, is you really want to focus on making sure that you're thinking about in some way how you want to add value. So, you know, you bring a unique perspective to things, and so there's a lot of ways you can add value. Ultimately, um, while you're finding opportunities in, a, in an existing market, you want to be able to find ways that you're going to provide unique value. And if you, if you go out there, collect ideas, and then you apply this process that we walked you through. Um, and then you combine that with adding value in some way. Again, it could be something as small as a different color or a different combination or how you package it, all that good stuff. But if you do those things, um, you're really going to set your, yourself up for success. You know, there's a lot of steps and you need to know to define process, but finding the right product is, is so critical up front. If you get this step right up front, you can, uh, you, it really makes the rest of the process so much easier 
and uh, and you know again following this process really helps you avoid the mistakes of again many people out there just picking things and they're they're not going through this step process and so following this you'll be way ahead of the competition uh, the majority of the competition and again this is what we use here at AMZ Insiders and uh, yeah I hope you found this uh, helpful and uh, look forward to, to seeing you on uh, one of our next uh, live trainings.